big day here at the Delta Connection Academy where our brand new facility, hangars, simulator bays, and executive offices were just dedicated and in the name of Gary Beck, the outgoing CEO of the organization. There's a lot going on here at Delta Connection Academy with an unheard of record of success for grads that are taken from the very beginning of Young Eagle, so to speak, or a little bit above Young Eagle, early birds, if you will, all the way to the right seat of today's modern jetliners. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. We're speaking with Larry Wade, the Director of Training for Delta Connection Academy. And Larry, uh, Delta Connection Academy has had a pretty neat day, a dedication of a new facility. But for those of us out in the Aero News and uh, Aero TV community who may not be all that familiar with uh, Delta Connection Academy, let's talk about your mission profile. What is it? The well, Delta Connection Academy was uh, founded by Common Air Airlines earlier in, in the 19, late 1980s. And the mission of the, of the company at that point was to create an airline pilot that would work for the, for the regional industry. And the Academy continues with that mission. And the mission uh, right now is to, has been shifted towards towards making that work in a, uh, you know, in a flight training environment with the FAA industry training standards, which is basically a mission-based training mm -hmm. environment that mirrors the AQP training that the airlines do. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this, along with the standardization profiles that the company has that have been developed off the airline, creates a situation where the academy can successfully create mm -hmm. an airline pilot who knows the flows and procedures of an airline environment before they ever get to the airline so that when our students graduate from the program, they have that basic understanding of what's expected of them, and they've been used to the training environment that the airline has through a, through a rigorous, uh, rigor, you know, the rigors of the training environment and the training, the way that the airlines train. So that uh, as they go through in the beginning, they start off in a, in a FITS environment with a private instrument combined program that takes them to, to the completion of both the private and the instrument ratings, the first FAA-approved program of its kind that is, uh, that is a Part 141 program. Mm -hmm. So we've, we implemented that earlier in August and have been using that since. Uh, that, that program continues in the FITS environment into the commercial, where they do a commercial multi-certificate. And after completion of the commercial multi, they, they do a single engine add-on. All of that is, again, in a, in a uh, mission-based environment so that the students are no longer going out into the practice area and, and doing this in, in an um, exercising environment where they do things over and over again the way we've learned in the past. These students actually go out, and every flight that they do is, is like the flight that they will do when they go to the airline. So that their, their students are, uh, these students are ready for that environment to start with. Aero TV is brought to you by Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly and fun to own. The jet for you. Now back to Aero TV. So it's a very, uh, very exciting program for them, and a very exciting or different program for the instructors as well. Um, we move from there into a 
a little bit of, of uh, high altitude loft training that we do with, in conjunction with SAMI. We go out to the, uh, to the to a chamber and take them up to 25,000 feet, expose them to low oxygen situations, low pressurization situations, so that they can see what would happen in that environment. Before they, before they actually do that, at some point during their training, they will have gone through an aerobatics course where they'll do five hours of intense aerobatic training to prepare them for, for being a, a flight instructor and to give them a little better high-end coordination stick, stick and rudder skills that they might not develop in a normal curriculum. So it's been very helpful and our instructors have seen the payoff for that for the students who might have been struggling before. So uh, once they've finished that program, they, they go into the CFI program and become a flight instructor. And uh, they, they work as a flight instructor, or they come online after their flight instructor certificate and work for us. We, uh, we keep them, uh, train them through their double I before we start them, and then help them through into the MEI or multi engine instructor phase. They continue working for us until they've developed somewhere around 800 hours of dual given, at which point they, uh, they opt usually to go to an airline. And uh, we provide that path by having connections with all the, the major carriers Comair, Chautauqua. Uh, ASA, um, and uh, we, we work with primarily the what we call a, a first tier mm -hmm. regional carriers, the carriers that are flying jets at this point. And uh, you know we, we get them an interview uh, right now. The last three years running, 100% of those <coughs> candidates have been successful moving on to an airline and going into their training program. 100%. That's unheard of. That's uh, it's absolutely unheard of.